Welcome again to the People's Church, Newton Abbey, for our call to prayer. It's wonderful to have you with us to pray. Thank you for your commitment in prayer. You know, when we pray, things happen. When we pray, we are giving ourselves to the most important thing there is. And praying time is never wasting your time. So we want to encourage you tonight Thank you for joining us to pray. And we're going to look to the Lord. We're going to open our hearts. We're going to pray for various needs. It's a general prayer time tonight. I'm recording this previous to the Monday night just because I'm away this week and we want to get this uploaded. We want to have it available for you for Monday night. So it's going to be general, general church needs. We're going to give God thanks for all of his goodness, the needs of others outside, the bereaved, the lonely, right through all we pray for every week, but in a general fashion. Now, check out the church's social media pages for up-to-date, maybe more up-to-date needs for tonight. But we're going to pray and we're going to look to the Lord. And he knows our heart that we're really reaching out to him. And I want to read from Proverbs, first of all, please. Proverbs chapter 3, because there's something here that's so related to prayer and a principle here that we have to grasp and understand. It says in Proverbs 3 and verse number 1, My son, do not forget my law, but let your heart keep my commands. For length of days and long life and peace they will add to you. You know, when we give ourselves to God's ways, and God has ways, and prayer is one of them, but when we give ourselves to God's ways, when we commit to them, when we are faithful in them, we're never the loser. You never lose out. You're always blessed and you always gain in that. It doesn't mean to say you won't have trials and, and challenges. Of course you will. But God gives us something special and he honors people who honor him. Do not forget my commands for length of days and long life and peace they will add to you. And then verse 3 it says, Let not <coughs> mercy and truth forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. 
and so find favor and high esteem in the sight of God and man. Now there's two elements mentioned there, two virtues. One is mercy and the other is truth. Mercy and truth. And they're among the most important things in our lives. Mercy and truth. If you have those virtues, you'll do okay. If you have and are giving yourself to those virtues, mercy and truth, I'll tell you something, that will take you a long way. If we hold those things up, here's what I want to say to you tonight. If you hold these things up, they will hold you up. Listen to it again. Let not mercy and truth forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart and so find favor and high esteem in the sight of God and man. Mercy and truth. You know, Proverbs, by the way, the book that we're reading from is actually a word to the ways. My mum used to say it to me. Here, a wee word to the ways and she was being sarcastic. But Proverbs is a word to the wise. And if we're wise, we will take on board what's led down here. And then the writer says these wonderful words. Proverbs 3 and 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, now, in all your ways, acknowledge him. And he will direct your paths. Note that again. In all your ways. Not some of them in all your ways. What does that mean? Even the little things. You know, sometimes it's the little things that get to us and trouble us the most. And we wonder, can I even bring that to God because it's so small, but it, it's getting to me. Well, this verse says, in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. You know, tens of millions have, have that on their wall, little plaques set up in various places, screen savers on their phone. But it's God's way. And it's the path that he wants us to take. Notice the words acknowledge him in all your ways. And it's something so simple, but there's a great, great meaning in it acknowledge him do you know when we pray we're acknowledging him and it's more than that but really we're acknowledging him we're acknowledging when we really pray and not just say our prayers but really pray we are acknowledging we can't do without him when we really pray we're acknowledging that he is able when we really pray in faith we're acknowledging god is going to do something in all your ways, acknowledge him. I just want to use that to encourage you in this prayer time tonight as you stop and give your time to pray like we're doing. You're acknowledging so much. You're acknowledging you're not able, but he is. You're acknowledging that he's able for every need tonight. Listen to it again. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your past. When we pray, we are acknowledging him. Acknowledging we cannot do it on our own. Acknowledging our need of him, but also acknowledging he is able. Amen. That's what's happening right now as we come to prayer. And the promise is he will direct your paths. You know, when we don't pray, we are simply doing one thing. And I believe a lot of people don't pray. Even believers don't really pray. Some of them. But when we don't pray, we're simply doing one thing. And here's what it is. We're leaning on our own understanding. We're leaning on our own understanding. But it's better to lean on the everlasting arms than leaning on your own understanding. Amen. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. You know, on the grounds of that, God will respond to us tonight. Then it says, just to close, do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It will be health to your flesh and strength to your bones. Listen, honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first fruits of your increase. And so your barns will be filled with plenty and your fats will overflow with new wine. 
the principle of honoring God hasn't gone away. It's sad today you don't hear preachers teach this and, 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 and communicate it enough, but the principle of honoring God hasn't gone away. Now we honor God with our talents in a threefold way, our talents, the giftings you've been given, make sure you honor God with that. You honor God with your tithe. And it says here, the first fruits of your increase. That's for God's work. That's for God. And we have lived our lives like that ever since we can remember. And God has taken care of the rest. Honoring God. But you also honor God with your time. Your talents, your tithe and your time. And our time tonight, this time now is prayer time. This time is when we're coming before the Lord. And we are acknowledging him we are honoring him tonight even with our time and it's wonderful to do that now we're going to pray for what we pray for every week but in a general fashion we're going to start with the needs of our church family those who are in pain the lord knows every one of them those who are waiting test reports those who are waiting to go into hospital those who are recovering at home our brothers and sisters tonight who we love so much and miss when they're not at church but we're going to pray for them tonight the needs of our church family Let's bow our head. Let's come to the Lord, first of all, for the needs of our brothers and sisters. And Lord, we thank you right now that we can't acknowledge you. And we're acknowledging that you're able more than anything. Lord, we're not able. That's why we pray. But Lord, you're able for every one of our brothers and sisters tonight who are in pain and anguish, who are in hospital, who are recovering or even in care, who are waiting reports, who are waiting to go into hospital. Lord, in the pain that they're in, some are unable to come out to your house these days because they just can't move out of the house. Oh God, tonight we pray for every one of them and will you be their portion and will you give them the portion of the blessing and will you remember them and will you help them and will you encourage them and will you let them know that we love them and we're praying for them tonight. Lord, remember our brothers and sisters from the People's Church. Every need tonight, Oh God, we ask you to meet it and let there be breakthroughs. Let your people rise. Let them overcome. Give them the victory in Jesus because we ask it in his name. Amen. Now, don't forget, if you look on social media, you make it more specific needs that have come in over the weekend. We're recording this beforehand just to make sure it's available for tonight. But remember that. Now, there's good news and there has been good news over the week and over the weeks you know this week loved ones have been saved thank the lord for that brothers and sisters god has been doing lovely things this week loved ones have been saved this week people have received peace this week there's been answers to unspoken requests we have got them sent through to us so we're thanking god for the good news tonight again people coming out to church who haven't been out in a while you know people watching our services online every week we're hearing more and more and it's just blessed us and we're giving the lord thanks for it because god can use it so we've got a lot to be thankful for amen so let's just come for the good news let's thank the lord for the good news lord we thank you that you hear and that you answer our prayers. And Lord, right now, we're thanking you for every point of good news that we have heard about. And we say like we always say, it's the Lord's doing, but it's marvelous in our eyes. Thank you for loved ones saved this week. Lord, thank you for lives restored. Thank you for people <coughs> finding peace in you, Lord, and testifying of that. Thank you for people that you've answered their prayers. Thank you for unspoken requests answered. Thank you for prayer requests answered. Thank you for people watching online. Thank you for the brothers and sisters from the People's Church who are witnessing and blessing others. And Lord, people coming to the church through that. Oh Lord, we have got so much, so much to thank you for. But we do thank you and we praise you. 
and we honor you. Receive our thanks tonight also for what you're going to do. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. And there's the needs of others who, from outside who contact the people's church because they know we're a praying church and they know God answers our prayers. And so all the time we're hearing of people saying, will you pray for me? Will you remember me? And we're going to pray for the needs of others outside. May the Lord meet those needs. And don't forget when we're praying for others outside, we're going to really pray. If any of them don't know the Lord, may they come to him and receive a saving testimony as well as a healing testimony. Amen. Let's come for others outside. Look, pray with me. The Lord knows their names. Lord, tonight, remember people who have contacted our church to pray. Some of them have cancer tonight. Some of them are young. Some of them are older. Some of them are critical. Oh God, you're the answer. We acknowledge that. You're the way. We acknowledge that. You're able, Lord, we acknowledge that. You have the power. We say amen to that. And will you touch these dear people at the point of their very need? Lord, if any of them don't know you in that real life transforming way, Lord, will you save them and give them a double testimony, a saving testimony and a healing testimony. Oh Lord, tonight remember people who need you, who contact us as we offer them and commit them to you. In Jesus' name right now, amen and amen. My brothers and sisters, as always, we're going to pray for all bereaved families, the lonely and people with mental health issues. And sometimes these are intertwined and sometimes these are all connected and one thing comes out of another thing. But the Lord is able. Amen. Let's pray. Lord, remember the bereaved. Those who are still in deep grief. Lord, even recent or recently or even in the past. Lord, we're so glad tonight that you said you'd come to heal the brokenhearted. You acknowledge that. Comfort those who mourn. Lord, thank you that you yourself are acquainted with grief and sorrow. Because you went through it too. And you know the pangs of the human heart. But Lord, we bring the people to you who are grieving. We also bring the lonely. And Lord, you know how deep and awful loneliness is. And, and what it means to people who are on their own. Lord, it's massive and we appreciate it. And we're praying for them. And we're asking you, will you bring them the right company? Will you bring them the right fellowship? Will you bring them into the right company? Not just any company, but the right company. And Lord, we ask you, will you be their portion? And may you give them a very special presence from yourself, Lord. A special grace for those who are suffering in this loneliness. And we pray for people with mental health issues. Lord, it burdens us, it troubles us. Lord, we feel the enormity of it because it's accelerating in our land and in our province and in our streets and in our homes. And oh God, tonight, but we remind ourselves you're able for the mind as much as you're able for the body. And we acknowledge that, Lord, you're, you touch us in a holistic way, Lord, body, mind, and spirit. But Lord, touch people in their mind tonight. Put, touch people who are anxious. Touch those who have suicidal thoughts. Lord, deliver them. Shine your light in their darkness. And oh God, bring them through. We pray this tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. The Lord knows our heart and we're going to pray again for God's work and it's extensive it's broad thank God it is it's local and global and we're praying for it tonight we're also praying for our teenagers and young people who are so indoctrinated with ideologies that are anti-Christ and we need to come against that. We make no apology. You know, in our prayers, you've got to pray against things as well as pray for them. And we're praying against the anti-Christian ideologies that's infiltrating the minds of our children and young people. We are convinced they are not better off with these things. They're more confused. We see a deterioration. We see a rise 
in, in confusion among children and young people. We need the ways of the Lord. We have read about the ways of the Lord tonight. Let our children and young people be delivered and set free to follow the Lord. So remember all of this tonight, as well as missionaries and churches and the nations as well. Again, close by and globally. Lord, we come to you. And Lord, as we talk about these things, who is sufficient for them? We aren't. But that's why we're praying, because we believe you are. Oh God, tonight, Will you move in the nations? You see the unrest. You see the distress of nations. But your word said it would happen. And it is. And Lord, you said when that takes place, then look up. And Lord, in this prayer time tonight, we're looking up. And we're asking you to remember the nations and work in the nations. Lord, so many are troubled. But even in that conflict, even in their distress, May they turn to Jesus. Thank you for those who have and those who we heard have. Oh God, remember them tonight. Strengthen them. Deepen them in you. May we hear of others, Lord. Many turning to you in their anguish because you're the only way and our only hope. Remember your churches. Remember church leaders, Lord. Keep them strong. Keep them clean. Keep them living right, Lord. And keep them ministering. Remember the congregations. Let them support. Let them encourage. Let them be faithful to you. Remember the persecuted church tonight, Lord. And oh, Lord, give those who are under so much persecution your special grace and touch. We pray for missionaries that they will receive all that they need. And Lord, last but not least, remember our children and teenagers. What's being imputed into their mind, Lord? Oh God, tonight we come against it because your word says we can lay hold of thoughts and ideologies that exalts itself above the throne of Christ. Lord, we see that happening, but we're coming against it tonight in Jesus' name. And we're praying that strongholds will be broken, that our teenagers and young people, and even children in primary school, would be set free to live for you and know the purpose that you can bring into their lives. Remember parents who are in distress. We hear of them, Lord, and they're confused too. Oh God, let them look to you. And let us help them as well. Thank you for hearing our prayers tonight for your work. Lord, will you work in a way like never before? Thank you for how you're working. But Lord, do more and give us more power. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Now we're going to end off this, season, or this evening by mentioning the unspoken requests. And incorporating in that our loved ones, because often that's what we carry within. But also the rest of the week, amen, that God will move, that God will bless, that God will use every one of us. Let's pray one more time. Lord, we pray for the unspoken requests. Thank you for how you've answered so many. Lord, do it again right now. What people carry within, the burdens they can't talk about, but you know them. And Lord, you see them and will you touch them? We pray for our unsaved loved ones. Lord, that's our burden more than anything. Only you can touch them. We acknowledge that. We have talked about acknowledging you, Lord. We can't save them. We can't reach them. We couldn't save ourselves. We can't save them. But Lord, we're also acknowledging the fact you're mighty to save. You're mighty to save. You can move mountains tonight with our loved ones. He moves the mountains. He's mighty to save. Mighty to save. And you are, Lord. And Lord, let us see it in our day and age. Save our loved ones. Thank you for the loved ones saved last week. Thank you for the joy in families. Thank you for what we heard about. Lord, do it again. In the glory and for the glory of the name of the Lord Jesus. Will you remember the rest of the week, Lord, and what we're doing? Use your people. Use every one of us. Give us God-given moments and opportunities and may good come out of it. Even to pray and lead people to you. Even to bring the gospel. Help us to communicate it. Lord, use us this week and keep your people safe. 
until we're back together again. Bless Wednesday night's Bible study. Lord, bring the people out. Bring a hunger into their hearts. Let it be a marked time for all the right reasons. Bless the rest of the week, Lord. Meet with us. And Lord, may we look to you with all of our heart. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. And God bless you, brothers and sisters, for praying again tonight. You know he's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. That's what he's promised. And may he reward you in the way that really, really matters to you. He knows your needs. Keep praying. You're honoring him. He's going to honor you. And we thank God for each and every one of you. But God bless you this week. Take care and the Lord's hand be upon you. And all of your prayer requests tonight as well. Remember the pastors are here if you need them. And thank you for all your support and all your encouragement. God bless you tonight. We'll see you soon. Keep praying. Pause the screen. Keep praying for those needs. And remember, check out the social media pages for more up-to-date specific needs. Thank you for bearing with us tonight in this different call to prayer. God bless. Mm -hmm.